Okay. Hi, everyone. Welcome to our True Life Dream Team chat. I am so glad that you guys are here. I'm Brianna Engel, Superstar Director of Scented Dreamers. Um, thank you guys for spending your Tuesday nights with us. Um, this is this is so much fun for us. I hope that it's fun for you guys. I hope that it's informative um, and that you guys enjoy being here. And um, me and Alex and the rest of your directors here are working on creating some content that we feel like is really valuable for you guys. And so tonight, um, what I was really excited to talk about was once I remembered that we were having a dream team chat, um, what I was really excited to talk about and what was like pumping me up was actually a conversation that I was having with Leslie. She had um, texted me and asked, was it Leslie or Morgan? One of you had texted me and asked about um, the incentive trips and what does what does Sensi include when it comes to an incentive trip and um, what do we have to pay for? What can we expect? And so I think that that's a really fun segue into talking about what Sensi can have for you outside of our paychecks, right? Um, or outside of the free and half off Sensi, the discount, whatever. Maybe it was. The reason that you joined was just to get stuff free and half off, which there is nothing wrong with. Okay. So if you're just here for that kind of thing, that is okay. Um, but there is so much beyond that. And I just wanted to share some of that with you because maybe you're new or maybe you're still exploring what does Sensi look like for you. And so I just want to be able to put some of these things on the table and open up your eyes a little bit and give you a piece of my heart as to what each of these things has meant in my business and um, just let you know how many opportunities there actually are with Sensi beyond the paychecks, okay? Because there's a lot. There's actually like a lot, a lot. And I'm like so pumped about it. So um, I'm actually going to start with the incentive trips because that has turned into one of my favorite parts about Sensi and we are smack dab, not in the middle, but we are smack dab in an incentive period. And um, a lot of you are working towards that. You guys are excited. Some of you have already earned levels one, maybe two. Um, and that is just like absolutely incredible. So I just wanna like give you all a round of applause whether you've earned it or you're trying to and you're going for it. That is amazing. I am so, so proud of your guys' hard work and your consistency um, because that's what it takes in this business to achieve anything. But since he does put these incentive periods in front of us um, and these incentives vary, sometimes they're trips, sometimes they're other things like tools for our business, um, warmers, uh, discounts, gift cards, things like that. And so all of it is really great. But when we're talking about incentive trips um, and just like Put a spotlight on that. I have earned, I think it's four incentive trips now. Um, and obviously, when you earn an incentive trip and you've never been on one before, you're like, okay, what does this look like? Like, what 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 can I expect on a Sensi vacation, right? And um, I I don't even know if I'm going to be able to like accurately like sum up what a Sensi incentive trip looks like because there truly is nothing like it. But I'm gonna just break down like the facts, the know-it-all um, details about what Sensi does for you on an incentive trip because my feelings are um, not fact, right? You could feel differently about it. So first and foremost, when you go on an incentive trip with Sensi, whether you earn level one, level five, whatever, um, level two, whatever that looks like, you are in level one, they, it is a no joke situation when they tell you that it's all expenses paid. Okay. So that's not, there is no catch in that. There is no all expense paid. We'll pay for your flight and stuff. But when you get there, like you're going to have to pay for um, your ticket to the park, or you're going to have to pay for um, food or, um, you know, flights not included. Like I've heard of other direct sale companies where they're like, you earned a cruise, but you actually have to buy your flight to where you're cruising to or from or whatever, uh-uh, you guys. Sensi, Sensi literally leaves no stone unturned. And so when they say all expense paid, they mean it. So let me be very clear. They pay for your flights um, and you can choose to book your flights on your own or you can choose to have Sensi do it. And if you choose to have Sensi do it, you can say, I prefer Southwest. I would prefer to fly in on this day. I'd prefer to fly um, uh, during a red eye and 
um, I would like to fly Southwest or Delta or whatever, you can give your preferences. And since you will do their absolute best to meet those and the cost does not matter. Okay, since you will try their hardest to do what you are, what you're asking for. Um, and it doesn't matter if it costs them $900 for your flight, they will book the flight that day for you. Okay. Um, so flights, okay, if you choose to do a flight credit, um, or if you choose to book your own flight, they give you an allotted amount. Um, and because a lot of people have like, airline cards, or, you know, cards that give you cash back on travel and stuff like that. So people say, I want to book this, or I have miles that I want to use to get rewards on or whatever, you can absolutely do that. Um, and since you will give you an allotted amount that they think is reasonable for flights, um, and then you pay for your flight, and then you can get reimbursed that allotted amount. And so regardless, since he is paying for your flights, okay? So on the day that you fly, or at least the week up to, I, oh my gosh, you guys, I cannot believe that it's been so long since I've been on an incentive trip, literally makes me wanna cry. Um, I, I think it's the week leading up to, they deposit money into your account that is called a per diem, um, uh, deposit, which means that that money is to be used for your days of travel. So they're going to give you money for baggage fees, should you incur any, they're going to give you money for food while you're traveling. So if you want to go get breakfast, if you want to go get lunch, whatever, they give you money for that. Okay. And if you earn for a guest or you bought in a guest, that includes money for them as well. Okay, so if there's two of you, if there's five of you, they will be including money for them as well. So it's not just like, hey, sorry, husband, I get to eat, you don't like, no, they'll include money for them too. Okay. Um, and that's for the days of travel. They will also give you a per diem amount per day. Um, and, and it differs depending on where we're at, how long we're gonna be there, whatever, but they give you a per diem amount into your account that says this is to be used for whatever food. Now, Sensi has, I think it's two Sensi type events on most every incentive trip where typically there's a welcome appetizer type of environment where they have, or no, actually they have a like a welcome dinner, I think it is. And Sensi goes all out for these welcome dinners, okay? Like I will post pictures of the ones in Marco Island, but it was a beautiful setup, so colorful on the beach, right outside of our hotel. Like we just literally walked down and they had tents and these beautiful um, tables with these beautiful colored uh, tablecloths. And we all got to sit together and Heidi and Orva were there. We got to take pictures with them if we wanted to. They sat up there and talked for a minute and we got to meet new people. We got to mingle, we got to have some drinks. Um, and then they had these buffet style food tables and we got to go out and at no cost to us, you guys, we got to eat our little hearts out, whatever we wanted, we got to eat this food. Um, and so they have a welcome dinner and I believe it's a farewell event where it's kind of the same thing. Um, and it, that's usually in the evening and you get, they usually have like a DJ and playing music and you get to go out there and dance and have fun or you, you can opt out of all of that and say, you know what, I'm not feeling that tonight, I'm gonna go do something else. And you don't, you don't have to show up or nothing like that. But since he does include those two nights as days, nights and days or whatever, that they provide food for you. But every other day, they will provide you money to get food, um, to buy meals or whatever. And it's just an allotted amount. But um, what that means is that you are not having to, if you do it correctly, spend any money out of your pocket on these trips. If you wanted to go and say, I'm on a budget, I really can't afford to spend any money on this trip, or, you know, I only have this much money, I'm worried about being able to pay for food or whatever, trust, Sensi is going to take care of you. Like 110% Sensi takes care of you. You can go on these trips with literally $5 in your pocket and be just fine, okay? Um, and y'all, if that wasn't enough, because <laughs> it's not over. Um, so not only do you get to like vacation, right? So those two days, the, the welcome and the farewell event are basically the two only Sensi events that they have planned for you. And everything else, all that extra time, those whatever days you're there is 
for you to utilize however you want. So obviously this is a family incentive. If you're choosing to go to Disney World, we'll be at the parks, okay? We'll be riding rides, we'll be hanging out with each other, we'll be meeting Mickey and Goofy and all these people, okay? Um, but other times like in Cancun and Mexico, we just spent our days doing excursions um, and laying on the beach and doing all this stuff. Now that's the other thing. Um, I don't know what their plan is for this time. I don't know what could possibly be their excursion since we're literally going to like the happiest place on earth. But for every other incentive trip I've been on, since he has also given us a free choice of an excursion and they will give you a list of excursions and you get to pick which one and not just you, but whoever you're bringing with you. So on other incentive trips, it was one person. Um, you could buy in one person or earn for a second person. You and that person got to pick an excursion to go on. And then once you pick the excursion, you'll pick the day and the time. And if you show up, boom, you get to um, go on this excursion. So for instance, me and my husband did um, jet skis, uh, I'm trying to remember in on the Mediterranean cruise. I don't remember what I did on the Mediterranean, what me and my husband did on the Mediterranean cruise. Um, oh, oh, in Mexico, I was trying to give you guys like a good example. In Mexico, we were able to go to the the underground caves, the Rio de Secretario or whatever, completely paid for since he paid for that excursion for me and my husband to go and explore and do all of that together. So since he also provides an excursion for you on these incentive trips. When I tell you there is no vacation like a Sensi vacation, trust, trust that that you will never want to like travel outside of Sensi ever again. Okay. And luckily Sensi like provides a lot of opportunities for you to travel with them, but like it is the most amazing trip vacation that you could ever dream of. Um, the, the other thing that I wanted to mention, because they're not done, they pay for the excursion, they pay for all this stuff. And you're like, how could it get any better? Well, I hate, I, I don't know if I got told this on my first incentive, but no, because I think it was Alex's first incentive that she had gone on. There's room drops, okay? And if y'all don't know what room drops are, it is where Sensi, or sensi people sneak into your room when you are not there and they know you're not there like at the welcome event or they know you're out eating dinner. Um, they sneak into your room and give you a gift depending on location, what day, like in, um, in Mexico, we on our night that we had our farewell dinner, I think it was, or our welcome dinner or whatever, because we were in Mexico and it was Dia de la Muerte themed, um, they room dropped us a DVD copy of Coco, a bath bomb that was shaped like a sugar skull in our pink promenade. So if you're around for that, um, that's, it was like a summer scent. It was so good. Um, and we got a French lavender bar on the Mediterranean cruise that was, or not a French lavender, but a lavender bar that was made with lavender from the lavender in France. Um, so it's like an actual authentic, like lavender bar. It's gorgeous. Hold on. I mean, it's the best thing ever. Symphony of the Seas, Province Lavender. It's gorgeous. I will never warm this ever in my life because it's the most amazing thing ever. They give you little notes with it. We also got like fresh pasta and spices while we were on the Mediterranean cruise. I mean, room drops, okay? Room drops of all sorts of things, depending on where you're at, okay? And you get a room drop almost every single night that you're there, which is incredible, okay? So Sensi just spoils the heck out of you. They want you to feel so loved while you are there. It's insane because you just think like, Y'all have already paid for me to be here. Like, I mean, we earned it. We earn our way to these trips, okay? And let me just um, put that nugget in your head a little bit as you're moving forward, as you're earning this trip or trips to come. When you're talking to people, when you're sharing on Facebook or social media that you earned a trip, be sure to say, I earned this trip. Not a single one of you who have ever, who will ever or have ever 
earned an incentive trip, you didn't win anything, okay? You did not win a trip. You earned a trip. You worked your butt off to get where you are and to earn a spot on that trip, okay? So make sure that you say that you earned it because you did, okay? Um, outside of all the amazing perks that Sensi has in store for you on an incentive trip, there are a lot of other things that are really awesome about it, like being in close proximity to home office and not just cl close proximity. Like I literally walked by Eldon as he was sunbathing in Mexico, laid back on a chair and I was like, hey, Eldon. He's like, hey, what's going on? How's your day going? Like Chuck is sitting there on his computer with his sunglasses on and a little beach hat. And he's like, hey, what's going on? What are you drinking? How's your night going? You know, so much fun to be able to be in such a different environment. And you guys, I don't know of another company where the the CEO and the president of the company and Chuck and all the, all these people are just walking around amongst us, wanting to talk with us, wanting to be around us, lounging on beach chairs, just like we are. Like I've never, ever heard of that before, but you'll experience it. And it's so cool. Even if you don't get a chance to take a picture with Heidi in Orville, I didn't, I haven't taken a picture with Heidi and Orville on an incentive trip yet. I wanted to meet them, actual meet them rather than take a picture with them first. And I got to do that at director boot camp. But if you get to take a picture with them, if you get that opportunity, if you get first in line, you better do it. Okay. <laughs> but the line gets really long. Um, but it, but it's so much fun to be able to hang out with them. Okay. So being around home office on a vacation is so much fun. Um, and then let's not forget that like, all of you are in other Sensi pages. And what we have in this team is really awesome. Like our team culture here is amazing and I love it. And we've made some really great friends. We'll continue to make friends. We're like family in here. Um, but then there's like a greater Sensi family and the people that you see online and you're talking to in a Sensi page or whatever, all of a sudden, like when you get to meet them in person or you meet somebody new at a Sensi event or an incentive trip, and you get to be like, oh my gosh, I met one of my best friends on vacation. Like that's a really cool story to be able to tell. That's a really cool memory to have. Um, that picture right there, it's hard to see, but that's of me and Alex meeting for the very first time in person on the Mediterranean cruise. Um, and, and that's just like a, such a fun memory to be able to say like, yeah, we were friends online before, but then we met in person on vacation and now like we get to vacation together so for all of you who have made connections with each other and you don't live close by how fun is it to be able to say I'm gonna meet you on that trip girl I'm gonna see you in Disney World if we finally get to meet our kids get to meet like that's so awesome okay so there are so many friendships to be formed on these incentive trips and to be like on vacation with 2000 of your greatest friends or a big family, it's so much fun. Okay. Um, there's nothing like it. So that's really, really fun. Take advantage of that. Okay. Every chance you get, um, I have not met a sensi person who has, is not friendly on an incentive trip. Um, so be sure to talk to people when you're there, all that good stuff. Um, and then the last thing that I'm gonna say about incentive trips is that it is a vacation and that is your time to rest, okay? We go on vacation to escape real world. We go on vacation to take a deep breath, to unwind, to spend quality time with our, with our spouse or with our families. Let that be what you do on an incentive trip, okay? You don't, you don't need to work. You worked for it, okay? You're there. I, I always tell my husband, like, this is like my late nights in my office, my running around delivering orders, my, you know, team dream chats, my spending my time on my phone, like, that's me working for our vacation in six months. I'm working towards the rest. All of you guys are working towards your rest. That doesn't mean don't take breaks in between, but you're working towards that vacation and that, that deep breath in. And that deep breath out of, okay, we're here. Like, 
this is this is where I rest and I and I take a moment to be proud of myself and really take it all in. Okay, so remember that because it's hard not to like still want to work. But me and Alex will literally plan for two weeks post for our VIP and we'll ask people on the team page to take over the team pages so we can disconnect as much as possible. And I want you guys to remember that. And of course, we will talk more about it as it gets closer. But I want you guys to remember how important that is to disconnect and to rest on these vacations, because that's what they're for. Since he wants to reward you for your hard work, and they know vacations are where you do that. And they want to give you that experience and that time that you have worked so hard for. So, so excited to rest and to play and to hang out with so many of you on this incentive trip, maybe future incentive. I mean, if you're going to Disney World and you're taking your kids, you know, I always say it's not a vacation when you take kids, but it'll be fun nonetheless. Okay, it'll be a lot of fun. So um, anyways, incentive trips, huge thing. Okay, I didn't know that they existed before I joined Sensi, But once I went on an incentive trip, it, it changed the game. And let me also say to the wise on here who are new um, and who um, have spouses who maybe aren't like a hundred percent, like not sure how to feel about Sensi. Is this real? Is it a real deal? They're kind of questioning it still um, and still trying to figure out like what's this all about. My husband was very much against direct sales when I joined Sensi. Um, he was okay with me doing it and taking the risk. But he was kind of still like very hesitant about what was going on. And is this something that can be trusted? Is it a good long term thing? Um, the moment we stepped onto the cruise ship in Barcelona, I saw it in his face, literally game changer. He was like, OK, I'm in. What do we got to do? How do we get here again? How do we continue to earn trips? How do we continue to make this dream a reality for you? And it, and it was a 100% 360 for him. So if you have spouses or family members, because you don't have to take a spouse, you can take other people. Um, if you have people who are questioning the Sensi thing, I mean, one way to turn, turn it around, take them on an incentive trip. They will they will be changed in those moments because it, I mean, my husband's hard to impress and he was blown away. Okay. So anyways, okay. So sense of trips, big deal. The next thing that goes beyond the paychecks, beyond anything else. And so many of you, actually, I'm looking at most of the names here and I can say pretty um, confidently that a lot of you will understand that beyond the incentive trips and the paychecks and all that kind of stuff, what we get to experience with Sensi is personal growth, right? Um, we go through so much in this business and we sit here and go, you know, we, we play with words and say, it's just wax and warmers. Like I'm just selling wax. Like I'm just working from my phone. But the amount of growing that we are doing as people on a day-to-day -day basis is huge. I look back three years ago when I, when I first joined Sensi and I'm like, oh my gosh, I have learned and I have grown so much in that time span. Sensi and being a leader, being in this business, being a part of Sensi's family, spending time with Heidi and Orville, just listening to them has changed me a hundred percent in the regard that I have realized that I am more confident in who I am as a person. Um, and, and that's something that, that nobody can take away from me is my confidence and the way that I now understand that when I set out a goal, I, I can actually achieve it because I used to be like, I used to doubt myself a lot and I used to quit on things. I used to say, I'm gonna do this. And then I quit because it got hard. Um, but since he really builds up this community and this, um, this driving force of energy that allows you to have the space to be able to grow into the person that you're meant to be. And maybe it's not long-term for you. Maybe Sensi is not long-term, but I promise you, if you dig in, you'll find there are lessons here and there's growth to be had that you can take into every area of your life. No matter if you work a full-time job, whatever it is, Sensi has 
open doors all around to speak into who you are as a leader, as a friend, as a stranger, as a human in this world. Like Sensi can teach you so much about how to be. And I think that that's a really unique thing that Sensi does. And um, I, I just want you guys to recognize that regardless of what your paycheck says, regardless of what that incentive tracker says, regardless of your PRV, if you are growing, if you can look back and say, I am not the same person I was three months ago, even a month ago, I, I've learned so much. I've, I've done things that have been scary. I've, I've walked outside of my comfort zone, legs shaking and did it. And it was hard, but I did it. And I'm proud of myself. And I have a little bit more confidence. There's that nugget of confidence that will get me to do it again. And I know that each time I do it, it's going to get easier. And that, that makes me feel good. And know that that's growth. And that's a big deal. No matter how small it feels to you, that's growth. And it takes people, it, it can take us a lot in, in life to be able to have those moments of growth and to think that this business provides such a compact opportunity to do it. And it almost, sometimes it doesn't feel like it's happening, but you look back and say, oh my gosh, yeah, like I, I have changed and I am grateful. And that's what I love about who Sensi has made me into now, because I love who I am as a mom and I love who I am as a leader. And although I am striving to be better and I make mistakes and I fall down and, and I do things wrong and I mess up, I am proud of the way that I rebound. I'm proud of the way that I have the confidence to not quit, even when it does get scary, even when I do mess up, because in the past, the old me would have been like, Ooh, that, no, I don't, I, I, I want to be the best. So if I'm not the best, like, well, I'm out, I'm out. Okay. Personal growth, this business, it, it's disguised as wax and warmers, you guys, but behind the scenes, we're growing like real deal, confident, kind, courageous leaders. And I put your eyes on that a lot. Okay, focus on that a lot. There, there's a lot of stuff going on in the front with the wax and the warmers and the laundry and the, you know, booking parties and the sponsoring and stuff like that. But there's so much going on behind the scenes. Take a moment and be sure, I, because I can't meet Alex, your director, don't always see those things. And so you have to be able to recognize what is happening beyond behind the scenes and how far you have come and celebrate that every single chance you can, okay? Um, and if you see it in other people, celebrate it in them as well. Because it just doesn't get talked about enough, right? Like it, it just doesn't. Like when's the last time somebody told you like, I'm so proud of the person you've become. You've changed so much in the best possible way. And I think you're amazing for it. When was the last time somebody said that to you? You got to say that to yourself, okay? And know that this business has a lot to do with that. And what you're doing inside your business has a lot to do with that, okay? And each day, each moment, each week, each year, each incentive period, each paycheck is, is another opportunity to continue to do more, to continue to grow, to be a better person and um, make those strides towards personal goals um, you know, I want to be a better leader. I want to be um, a more courageous stranger and have those conversations with people. Whatever it is for you, make strides towards that. And don't let this business be just about high PRV, sponsoring the most people, hitting director, like that's all great. But make sure to take advantage of those opportunities of personal growth that come every step of the way in between. Okay. Um, so with that being said, the other cool thing about Sensi that, um, I 
it was funny on the on our Monday morning leadership call. So for directors and above, we have a Monday morning leadership call with Jason Hardwood and Deb Bowden, and they're awesome. And um, Jason had asked me to speak on Monday's leadership call on like Friday. <laughs> and um, I said, sure, I'll do that. And he told me that he wanted me to, they were gonna ask me a couple questions about growth mindset and how does mindset connect to success in your own personal business and in your team. Okay, so we had that conversation. It was great, um, so much fun. And then at the end of it, he asked, okay, so now that you've hit superstar director, now that you've made that goal and that was your goal for so long, what are your goals now? Like, what are you striving for? And if any of you have ever seen my vision board, I've posted a picture of it before. Um, there are most of the things on my vision board don't have anything to do with what Sensi sets in front of you as a goal. And what I mean by that is that I do have still like Disney World and I have leadership in Cabo on there and I do have a paycheck that says $10,000 um, on there as those were things that Sensi was going to open doors for me and that's what Sensi could provide. Um, but the other things that are on there are things that I knew if I took it seriously, since he would open those doors for me. And so I was trying to think of like how to say that, but since he would open those doors for me. And so when he asked that, the first thing that came to mind is really something kind of silly and it sounds funny and, and I laughed about it and they laughed, but one of my biggest things up there on my vision board is to own a Highland cow. And people are like, what? And I'm like, yeah, that's, that's what I, that's what I know Sensi will give to me at someday. Sensi is going to be the reason I get to buy a Highland cow. Like I'm so obsessed with them. I love them so much. That is my next goal is to, well, that and buy a house. Okay. I have to have somewhere to put the cow, but buying a house and buying a Highland cow are the open doors that I know Sensi will be able to provide for me. And I will be able to say, because of this, because of Sensi, I got to do this. That is the really cool thing about this opportunity is that if you look past the titles and the paychecks, there's like a whole world of opportunity out there that Sensi can open the door to. And some of you have, are already believing that. Some of you have walked into the Sensi journey saying, I want to retire my husband. I, I want to buy a house. And so you already have the big picture and that's amazing. And, and that's exactly what I want all of you to realize is that there are titles and there are paychecks and there are um, goals like sensational start two and three and, and all those things. And you can reach all of that and you can do all of that and you can hit superstar director, but do you stop growing? Where do you go? Is there something beyond that? Is there something beyond your wildest dreams? Because for a while, I was like, superstar director, my wildest dream. I don't know when I'll hit it. That was such a far off thing. My $10,000 paycheck was such a far off, like, I don't know when I'm going to get there, but hopefully it's soon and I'm going to keep working towards it. And my eye was on the prize. But when you get to the mountaintop, when you get to that goal, when you get to where Sensi has said, this is, this is where you are at. This is like superstar director wherever your goal is, what are you gonna do? What's your next goal? And that's where it's like, the sky's the limit. And you don't have to be standing at that mountaintop to be able to see the vision, okay? And so look up and realize that Sensi is literally the open door to a lot of things that maybe you can't even fathom right now because you've never known opportunity like that. And let me be very like honest with you guys. Me and my husband have been married for 10 years and we got married really young. We are sort of frugal, but also like impulsive. It's like a weird thing. So like we have really never had a savings account that we've ever been committed to. Okay. We will put money in savings and then we'll take it out because we want that TV or we'll put money in savings and then we'll buy this. Okay. And it's 
heard us a couple of times, obviously, right? You should have a savings account. Um, but it's always been our goal, right? We're like, well, we need a savings account because an emergency. We also need a savings account because we hope to buy a house one day and that's where the money should be in order to buy a house so we can put a down payment down and you know all that adult stuff. <laughs> um, and it wasn't until September of this year that me and my husband put money into savings and it was such a weird thing when October came and there was still money in savings. So we've dropped some more money into savings and, and then November came and December and, and oh my gosh, now we're halfway to what we've always wanted our savings account to look like. And that money's still in there because we haven't needed it for anything because once we put money into savings and once we have tithed in our church more than we've ever tithed before, there's still money left over and there's no reason to dip into savings. And that's, that may seem really trivial to some people, but if you look at statistics, 80% of Americans don't have a savings account that would, last, that would last them the three months that is required, right? So that's a lot of people walking around on eggshells, I guess. And I was one of them, like, I'm, I'm you know, hear me, like, that's that's a reality for a lot of people and so when I say this I'm saying it because I never knew what I wanted I never knew that I, that was such a desire for our family until we literally were given the opportunity to have it and that's but for Sensi, that would not have been possible we would not have money and savings my husband has always provided enough for us to be able to live fine, I can stay at home, but never have we had such an abundance where we are able to secure financially what we've been wanting. And so it's things like that, where even if you're not there yet, I want you to know that the sky is the limit. Literally, since he can be the open door to a lot of everything, a lot of everything. Like I don't, I can't think of one thing that Sensi would not be able to provide for you if you worked hard enough for it. Okay, financial freedom. That, you know, money may make people uncomfortable a little bit, but I think it's important to recognize that we all want a paycheck. Okay, We're, we all want a paycheck. Whether you're here just to feed your habit, it's it's nice to be like here's $100, you know, like here's $300 for feeding your habit. Like that's nice. That's a huge bonus. I didn't join Sensi for the money, but it's a bonus. And I'll, I'm not going to lie to you guys. I'm, I'm here for it now. Okay. There are a lot of things that um, God is putting on our heart to be able to do in the future. And that money is allowing us to get there faster. And I think that, um, Financial freedom is a is a big deal to a lot of people. And so um, recognize that it's okay to feel that way. It's okay to like want those $10,000 paychecks and to work your butt off to get it and to be proud of yourself when you get there. And that's a huge open door. And I know I said beyond the paychecks, but financial freedom is a huge, huge deal, okay? Um, and then, like I said, real world goals. So when you're thinking about your why, why you joined Sensi, anything like that, if, it, if it's for the title, if it's for the paycheck, um, if it's for a date night once a month or to pay for your kids' soccer stuff or, you know, ballet stuff or whatever, that's, those are real world stuff right there. But I want you to dive deeper. I want you to go deeper than that. Um, and the reason being for, for that is because since you can do that and more, whatever the end of that sentence is for you, whatever that thing is for you, retire your husband, since he can do that and more. Um, since he's going to buy me a house and more, since he's going to buy me a Highland cow and more and more like five more. Okay. I'm going to need like five. So Sensi's going to do that. 
And that's, that's crazy to me. Like that blows my mind. Um, those open doors are 100% open to everyone, but gotta work for it, right? Gotta work for it. Um, you gotta do what it takes and you gotta, you gotta chase that dream more than you chase anything else. Um, but know that it's possible. Okay. Um, and there's, there's just so much wrapped up in everything that goes beyond what happens on the 10th of every month. There's so much more happening inside of that, but we get so focused on that commission that we forget that we're growing, that we're impacting people's lives, um, your customers, your teammates, the strangers, the person, the cashier at the dollar store that you go to every week to get all the stuff for your mystery bags, your post office people, you're impacting people. You're, you're crossing paths with people every day who may be changed by the kindness, the generosity, you being your true authentic self. Like Sensi has opened those doors for you to make connections or to cross paths with those people for a reason. And so let those be the moments of personal growth that you take advantage of um, and that you soak in. And while you're chasing that incentive trip, while you're dreaming of that vacation and you're working hard to get there, take advantage of the personal growth, the confidence that you're growing, the leadership you are, um, that you're building, right? Um, all of those things, because once the incentive trip is over, once you've reached superstar director, once you've hit your goal paycheck, there's more to be had. And there is always going to be more room for bigger dreams and growing as a person. And there's a lot to be said for all of that. So um, those are the three big topics that I wanted to focus on for this. Um, because I think that those are the three most important, valuable things that we can um, really dive into. And I feel like it speaks to a lot of people's different, uh, whatever speaks to them, right? So like if it's money, if it's real world things, aspirations, or vacation, everybody wants to go on vacation, right? Um, so I guess not everyone, but most people. So um, I'm going to, I'm going to end it now. I'm going to stop recording and then you guys can ask any comments, uh, any questions you have in the comments.